like when you're shoveling your driveway and you suddenly realize you've been standing in the same spot for the past seven minutes thinking about what you would say to Elon Musk if he asked you to go to Mars. Earth has a lot of benefits, like oxygen. I think that's a great benefit. Mars doesn't have any cool things. It's just like cold and rocky. But my impulsivity and my lack of planning skills would tell me I'd probably tell him I'd like to go to Mars because that sounds a lot more fun and exciting. However, I would probably forget the launch date or if I remembered, I would get lost and show up late. I guess I should probably get back to shoveling though. Or we can just make YouTube videos like this one. Click the link. My virtually non-existent time management skills tell me it'll only take me seven minutes to shovel the driveway. I can make YouTube videos for another two hours and 53 minutes before I have to go to Micah Varberg's house. I'm going to Micah Varberg's house today. ADHD is caused by genes. I thought I had some, but I must have lost them. You don't have to have all the genes that cause ADHD to have ADHD. All you need is a little group of genes, and then the combined effects cause ADHD. There's three different types of ADHD. There's ADHD PI, PH, and C, standing for predominantly inattentive, predominantly hyperactive, and combined. And the genes that you get determine where you are on that scale anywhere. If you have ADHD, you're 60% more likely to have another mental disorder, like autism, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, Tourette's, and, oh, dyslexia. There's a lot of other disorders that share the same genetic mutations. Isn't that great? Wonderful. The severity of your symptoms is also determined by the environment in which you grew up. Perhaps you just ate lead paint chips when you were a kid. That would affect your brain development. Most of the genes associated with ADHD are related to dopamine production and dopamine receptors. If you don't know what dopamine is, well, it's a thing that makes you happy. Dopamine plays a significant part in the reward center of your brain. Most people have a normal level of dopamine in their brain. ADHD people do not have a lot of dopamine in our brains or our receptors don't work that well. What we do is crazy, exciting, fun things that release dopamine in our brain because that triggers our reward center. I like to clap my hands. Why do I like to clap my hands? It's fun. It's exciting. Whoop, whoop. That's great. Here's some dopamine. Our extra need for that dopamine is the main reason why you know our brains function the way they do for example adhd people are known for not making good decisions why well because we're impulsive we like to do things that are new and fun and exciting i don't want to do my homework i hate doing homework doing homework is the worst when i play video games or read a book or do whatever else releases dopamine then my reward center is like hey Good job on that behavior, even though maybe it's not the most beneficial behavior ever. We got terrible handwriting, the worst handwriting ever. I get lost all the time. Our motor skills are like getting out of bed every day. It's the worst ever, especially if you're sleeping in your car and it's like 10 degrees outside and your sleeping bag is like really warm. Interesting story. In the 1930s, there was this pharmaceutical company and it just came out with this new drug called amphetamine. Oh, by the way, dextroamphetamine is Adderall. And they were like, man, what's a good use for this drug? What they decided to do was go to the University of Minnesota and give it for free to all the college students who wanted it. A lot of these college students reported that they had increased focus, increased alertness. It kept them from getting tired in class, which was great until a bunch of them overdosed. And then they decided maybe we shouldn't give this for free to all the college students. Another stimulant used is called methylphenidate, commonly known as Ritalin. Methylphenidate is another stimulant. However, it has a less tendency for addiction and it's used also for treating crack addiction, just like how methadone is used to treat opioid addictions. Interesting stuff.
Dopamine! I like Red Bull. You know, caffeine is a stimulant. You know, Red Bull is like a magical concoction of alertness. It's the best. I love Red Bull. I have Red Bull all the time. I buy 24 packs. It's the best. I love it so much. Red Bull, please sponsor my YouTube channel. I love you so much. Medication helps a lot, definitely. More importantly, coping skills. You gotta learn how to cope. Pills aren't gonna teach you how to function in your normal life. I have a daily routine. I keep my life simple. I try to make it as efficiently as possible. I forget things all the time. I put things in the same spot. However long I think it'll take me to do something, I have to multiply it by three to get a better rough estimate of how long it'll take me to get it done. All right, seriously, you guys, though, get some skills. You know, my best friend Napoleon Dynamite, he says it like this. He says, girls only want guys with skills. Nunchuck skills, bow staff skills, computer hacking skills. You got to figure out how to plan stuff, how not to lose things. Once you guys get those skills, then it's easy. Then you can take full potential of the benefits. What are the benefits of ADHD? Let me tell you. Hyperfocus. Do you know what hyperfocus is? Hyperfocus is something that people with ADHD do. When we like something and it gives us that nice dopamine response that we like in our brain, we can do that thing for forever. Literally like for forever, okay? When I get like a good book, I will read it for literally 14 hours straight. I will not eat. I will not become tired. You can talk to me and I will not hear you. I'll be just like tunnel vision. You know, you start hyper-focusing, dude, you can get some serious stuff done. Your brain is just boom, 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 boom. Creativity. I tend to be a more creative person. It's the ability to... Think outside the box. Problem solving. People with ADHD are great at problem solving. You got a problem, I will solve it. Okay, I have a solution. I don't understand like half of these social norms. I'm very bad at like social stuff. Why do people do what they're doing? I'm not very good at that. Am I creative? I think so. Look at this. I have a girl on my dresser. Look at that face. You guys are all jealous. You're like, man, why can't my room look like Micah's room? Look at this. Check out those octopus tentacles. Also, did you notice how everything in my room is green? Boom, because green is the best color ever. When I come in my room, I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And that's how I want my room to be. You got to get that dopamine release. Interesting fact, a person with ADHD is 60% percent more likely to start their own business than someone who isn't. Why? Well, because we're impulsive and we don't really follow social norms as well. But we're like, I'm bored. I want to do something. And then we're impulsive. We're just like, gonna do it. That's kind of my life. I'm sure this video is kind of all over the place. Maybe I was just all over the place. I don't know. Click the like button and subscribe. Put your questions down in the little box thing. Yeah, that's it. Bye. Also, this is just like an extra side note to put at the end of the video. I want to do a section about science news. Why? Because science is fun and exciting. You know, it's like the future. Huh? That's like my biggest dopamine fix. I love science. You know what happened this morning? It's really exciting. So if you don't know, there's this company called SpaceX. Well, this guy, Elon Musk, he wants to go to Mars. They're building like rockets and stuff. They're launching satellites. It's really cool. You should definitely check out some of the videos. If I remember, I'll put some in the, the doodly-doo. This morning at like 3 a.m., they're doing the Crew Demo 1 mission. They're taking their Dragon capsule and they outfitted it for crew members. So for the first First time we're gonna be launching astronauts to the International Space Station since 2011. The stage one boosters land by themselves on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean which is called I Still Love You. The future is out there.